And it affects everything. And the fact we don't know what it is bothers me because it's affecting our universe. I always thought physics was cool. I always thought astronomy was cool. I really like space because I want to go into astronomy, but I actually wanted to be a, a veterinarian for a long time. And then senior year of high school, I took a physics class and our very first lesson was on relativity. And I thought it was super cool. Growing up, my dad also had like magazines and stuff with science and astronomy. And I always thought they were super cool and I always wanted to read them. And I was like, well, this is a way that I'll be able to read all those magazines and be able to, you know, find out what's going on in the world. When I graduated high school, I had really kind of no plans of going and getting any higher education. Senior year of high school, I got a job as a vet tech and I was like, well, I can do this for the rest of my life. I think that might be what I want to do. So I did that for a year. And then it was after I was done being a vet tech that I was working in retail. I was talking to my sister and she was like, well, you're really smart, you know, you like science why don't you apply for college? And I was like, okay, you know, it's something It's something to do because right now I don't feel like I'm being utilized how I can be. Going from high school where I was not very into the whole school thing at all and then coming to UVU, I wasn't really sure what to expect. Being in the physics department has been amazing. The professors are all amazing. I've never experienced professors that were able to say, hey, this is what's going on. You know, I, I remember I went to a professor and I was like, hey, this, this is some stuff that's going on in my life right now and it's making it really hard to like do school. And immediately they're like, okay, like how can we help you? What can we do? I know you can do this. You wanna come meet with me every day. What are the steps for us to make you successful? Because we want you to be successful. And just having literally an entire department on your side and feeling that, it's, it's, been, a, it's been an amazing experience. I recommend UVU to everybody now. I like try to convince my friends back in St. George. I'm like, you should, you should go to UVU, it's great. <laughs> my proudest moment at UVU would be taking the, the research and the work that I've been doing with Dr. Jensen in the physics department and bringing that to the American Astronomical Society Conference. So it's a national conference and I've been able to do it two times now. We did it in Pasadena, California and in Seattle where I was able to make a poster and present my research to other astronomers and you know hold conversations with them and explain to them what I'm doing and for them to have like understand it and know like this is the place that made me able to do that. You know, they gave me the opportunity to do it, taught me how to do it, you know. Having it say like UVU on that poster and say, yeah, I'm from Utah and I'm here at a national conference speaking to people from NASA, speaking to, you know, people who have TV shows about astronomy and being able to hold these conversations with them and show them what I'm doing and have them understand it and have them be interested in it. And I think that was where I'm just like, yes. We'll be working with James Webb Data it's gonna be awesome, I'm super excited. We wanted to calibrate our measurements by using a galaxy that's close. Whereas normally the galaxies that we take measurements to are about 300 million light years away. One way to be able to make this calibration is using James Webb Space Telescope because it can have you know, high resolution at these really close distances. So one of our collaborators, they actually wrote a proposal to James Webb and it was approved and because they're our collaborators here at UVU, we are also able to use this data that we're going to be able, that we're going to be sent from the James Webb team using that telescope so that we can then make these measurements and ideally make our data more accurate. After I graduate from UVU, I want to go to grad school. I want to do similar to what I'm doing now with cosmology, uh, looking at galaxies, and I would love to do something with dark matter. Um, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's the so the next step is more school. <laughs> My biggest piece of advice is don't be afraid to reach out in any way. The professors here really do want you to succeed. They want you to do your best. And I haven't really come across a professor that wasn't willing to help you do that as much as they possibly can. Like if they see you're putting in the effort, they are going to get behind you and be like, yeah, you can do this, even if it might be a little bit harder on some days than on others. It's made my experience so much better. Like it was already good and it just elevated it to great. UVU is a place for exploration.